A good day to all of my fellow people. Today we're going to talk about a topic that I know many of us are familiar with, failure. Now tell me, you're all familiar with this word, aren't you? What is failure? Failure is something that we all experienced. Failure is something that we all hate. It's something that we all avoid. It's something that we fear. It makes us sad, it makes us angry, or sometimes it even makes us depressed. But let me tell you something. Failure isn't something that we should avoid. It isn't something that we should be afraid of. We shouldn't be afraid of making mistakes. Failure is something that we should cherish. It's something that we should always remember. Sure that every person would feel depressed or sad whenever they fail, but we should take failure as a motivation to get up and make the right decisions this time. Failure is a sign meaning that we should do better. Failure is a way to motivate ourselves into doing better things. Whenever we fail, we have to get up and do better. We shouldn't give up. Failure doesn't mean that you're not good. It doesn't mean that it's game over for you. It doesn't mean that we ourselves are a failure. We shouldn't call ourselves a failure because everything and anyone that God made is not a failure. Remember that failure would take us to success. It means we have to improve more. It means that we have to try again. Take failure as a practice stage for you. That every failure you get is a way to do better at what you're doing. Failure is another opportunity to make our decisions better. It is an opportunity to try again intelligently and wisely. Because failure gives us experiences. Failure teaches us the do's and don'ts of life so we can use it in our future. No one, even the most successful person on earth, is not perfect at everything they do. They fail in order to improve or to practice. Also remember that we shouldn't feel depressed or sad whenever we fail because everyone who turned successful also failed for once, twice, or many times in their lives. Every person will experience or experience failures in their lives. Take Bill Gates for an example. Bill Gates is known for inventing Microsoft and is one of the most successful billionaires. But Bill Gates had many struggles before turning successful. Bill Gates was a Harvard dropout. He co-owned a business called Traff O Data, which was a true failure. However, skill and a passion for computer programming turned this failure into the pioneer of the most successful software company, Microsoft, and then the 31-year-old into the world's youngest self-made billionaire. He quoted in his own words, saying that it's fine to celebrate success, but it is more important to heed the lessons of failure. What he said was right. It's fine to celebrate success, but we have to learn from our mistakes in order to be successful. Now, I remember my mom and my dad saying this to me when I was a toddler. They told me that I shouldn't be afraid of making mistakes, but instead I have to learn from it and do my best the next time I try. We have to keep failing in order to improve, and then it will lead us to success. We have to keep trying and trying. Our failures will help us and motivate us to obtain success. We shouldn't be afraid of making mistakes. What we should be afraid of is the fear of not trying, is the fear of giving up. No matter how times we fail, we should stand back up and fight. Take a roly-poly toy for an example. Whenever you push it down, it will always come back up. We should be like that too. I can say that success is important, but what's more important is the things that I've learned from my mistakes. Failure will always be a part of us, a part of our lives. Remember that failure is important. Without failure, 
There's no way we could succeed. Without failure, we won't learn. Failure will always be a part of success.